Guys, I have something new and different for you guys, and it is what I'm gonna call my monthly haul. Hello, 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 this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Day Reactions, and today I'm gonna be doing an album haul. Um, so be previously I was just doing unboxings and just showing you guys as I was getting them, when I was getting them, if I really wanted to show you everything. But I decided this time to do it a little bit different rather than doing them one by one, bit by bit. I figured that I would just do one haul at the end of the month, show you everything that I got for the month. This month I went a little bit crazy um, because of holiday money and different things and yeah. So I went a little bit crazy. I got way more than usual. Don't expect to see this much in the future. Usually you're probably only gonna see three, maybe four things in it. Um, so yeah, just so you know, it's not gonna be like this normally. But I did get a lot this past month. There are a couple of things that I ordered that I didn't get until, that I won't be getting until next month. And then there's a few things that I had ordered previously that I was expecting to get before that I only came in this month. So. There is that, but let's just, I have a lot to show you and let's just go ahead and let's start with the oddish shape package that I have and that is got sevens, got, yeah. So, um, so this is their first album, their first mini I should say, and I didn't own it yet. So I figured that I would finally get it. I found it for pretty cheap. So I finally got it. I ended up getting Jin Young's card. Um, I'm not gonna, it's, Pretty, pretty basic, but nothing special. Well, very special because I love GOT7, but yeah, nothing, nothing crazy or especially unique about it. Okay, so next up we have, I ran a group order for BTS's um, Apple Log DVD. And so here it is. And yes, uh, so this is the epilogue. This is from their epilogue tour that they did last year and i'm excited this is beautiful it's really really pretty so it slides out like that and then it slides out this way then you get this really really pretty 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 shiny i don't know how shiny it looks over there which opens up and guys guess what i got j-hope's card this was literally the first album i opened when i did the unboxing and i immediately put it aside because of course, J-Hope. I always get Hasuk, always. Um, so it has a photo book with the DVD and then also the three discs for the actual concert. So yeah, it's actually really, really gorgeous and I'm kind of, kind of, kind of in love, but I haven't watched it yet because I've been super busy and I cannot wait. Um, my friend has already watched it and she said that it's awesome, so I can't wait. Um, but yeah, it's just really such, such a gorgeous album. I actually do still have one for sale. It is without a photo card, um, but instead of the full price and all that crazy shipping costs that you'd pay, um, it is a $38. So if you are interested in that, um, go ahead and email me that. And then, so it's 38 plus the cost of shipping, which is if you're in the U S it's like $3, 312, I think. So it's not that expensive. Okay, so next up, I ran another group order, and this time it was for Pentagon's second album, Five Senses, and it was for signed versions. It was not, it was through M-Wave, but it wasn't through a meet and greet. It was just um, signed albums that they had, and so I picked this up because I already had the other one, and they look gorgeous together because this one's um, gold and black, the other one is black and gold, and they just look lovely and it's, it's another beautiful album and the photo book is amazing. The concept photos in this are fantastic. I didn't like the photo cards though. The photo cards were kind of, I'll admit the photo cards are kind of weird for this one, but um, I think, let me try to, I'll show you which one I have. Um, so this was the one I have, that is that one. Um, I haven't put it away yet. And then I also, because I'm Hong Sok biased, I have the Hong Sok CD plate. They were individual member CD plates this time. Um, with the last album, they were pairs. Um, but yeah, I I really like getting the signed albums, especially when they're not too expensive. When you get them direct from M-Wave, they're not too bad. Um, try to buy them somewhere else and sometimes they are way, 
too expensive, but I'm really happy that I got this because now I have both Pentagon albums. Um, so then next up, because I was running that Pentagon group order, um, the amount that I ended up getting, I needed something else to go in there to get the, um, the free shipping. Otherwise the shipping would have been like way more expensive. Um, so I decided to just throw in another item in there that I didn't have and it was for a signed version of Vix's Season's Greetings and I was really lucky because I ended up getting Hongbin's signature. So it is a signed version, um, but Hongbin's signature and um, yeah, it's got some really cool stuff in there including you have the mini photo cards which you can actually stick into. There's different like planners in here and they have like base plates where you can put the planners. And I do plan on actually using the calendar at work. I just haven't done it yet because I wanted to do this haul first before I put everything away and decided where I was gonna put everything. But yeah, it's it's really, really pretty and I'm actually really glad I got it. I keep getting more and more signed Vix things because I love, I love Vix. Okay, so next up was another group order, more signed material. <laughs> yes, um, but so this time we have SF9's first single, Feeling Sensation. Um, SF9 is coming out with their first mini soon, which is exciting. Um, but this is all member signed. And I got this um, from Sana through Sana's um, group order that she ran. And she's lovely. And she got me um, the Zuho card because I love Insong and Zuho. And so I was very happy that I managed to get a Zuho card. I think I think she said that I was like the last person on the list to get a Zuho card. So I was very happy. Um, so yes, but um, so as a time, this is the one thing I hate about this album. It's one album, but it's two separate sections. So here's the photo book. And then there's like these, there are large photo cards that are here and there's no packaging to keep them together. So they're just kind of separate and kind of awkward. Like I would have loved even just like a little clip or something, but it's just it's really awkward and yeah, stupid SF9. Why, why are you doing that FNC? Um, okay, so next up is something that I ordered a while back, but I finally got, and that is the Got Sevening. And I'm really excited. I haven't had the chance to rewatch this yet. I have actually technically seen all of the main episodes. There is some extra stuff on here that I haven't watched yet, obviously, but I'm looking forward to sitting down and binging and watching this all because Guys, I am God Seven trash. I love God Seven. They're they're my ultimates. I I can I think I can finally say that. Can I? I think when you when you keep meeting them and you keep getting closer, the fact that like Bam remembers me and like it's just kind of just they drive into your heart and then you get it just like wedges in there and it yeah. But I'm really excited to watch this. I did already do an unboxing. I will leave that down below. But yeah, got happening. Okay, so then next up comes in with, uh, so I got BAP's Bad Men. Um, I am trying to get more of BAP's um, discography, but it's kind of difficult because a lot of BAP stuff is out of print, unless it's the new stuff, which I already snagged easily. So um, yeah, getting the older stuff is a little bit, isn't always as hard easy um but i did want to just work on getting more of their collection so i do now have bad men um also i never actually purchased beautiful liar um so i did get this and i got all leo stuff no robbie <sighs> but i still love leo so um but yeah there's some great i love ghost ghost is like my jam but so we have vix lr Okay, and then finally I had to get, because I had a feeling that things, with all the things that have changed with winter and things going all crazy, like, I had a feeling that there was a chance that some of the older um, winter stuff I might not, might be harder to get my hands on later on, so I decided that I was going to pick up Winner's 24 SNS. Um, this is their first album. It is the full album. They've only had one full album. Um, but, yeah, I decided to finally pick this up. So I now have this and it's really pretty and I, I like the, I have, I already, already liked the whole album anyway, but I just didn't own it. So now I do. Next up after that, um, 
I, I went through an existential crisis recently and I realized that I do like EXO a lot more than I gave them credit for, like a lot more. Um, so I've been going through and I finally listened all the way through to EXACT. So I did get EXACT, I got the lucky one version um, because I do like this one, ver this version. I, for some reason I just like the light, but it's really pretty. I've looked through it. I need to learn Korean better because there's like full freaking interviews in here, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting, um, Sehun's card. I am Baekhyun and Jimin biased. Um, Baekhyun primarily, but Jimin, oh, still love it. Oh, I can't look at Jimin. Sorry. I love them both. But, um, and Jimin is just a puppy. But I am getting more and more into EXO, and so I figured that I would pick this up. Um, I did just get the exact version instead of getting Lotto. I did purchase, I just got, grabbed the other tracks that were on Lotto. That's the same thing that I ended up doing with Exodus. Um, I just, well, I bought Exodus and got the, um, extra songs from, uh, Comic Boot. So my cat is being weird right now. I'm sorry. So the next up I picked up Victon's Voice to New World. And oh my gosh, this is freaking like it, this is gorgeous this is their freaking debut this is their debut mini and it is oh my gosh it is so like like it's this is oh, okay i don't know if you saw this but the cd is in here oh it is a beautiful beautiful thing um it is like it's hardcover it's like that like that um soft outside material. It's so pretty, so gorgeous. I really hope that their packaging continues, but I love Victon. You guys know that, so I had to pick this up. I actually ordered it a while back, but since I ordered it with got 7 ing which got really, their de the release got delayed, so shipping it got delayed, and then the shipping took forever to get to me. So yeah, that's why, yeah, but I absolutely love Victon. And okay, so like I said, I am going on a BAP, um, a huge BAP kick, and I'm trying to get more. I don't know how much more I'm going to be getting beyond this other than like new stuff. Um, there's only a couple of things that I'm missing. And if you have any tips on getting those, let me know for not crazy prices. I would be interested. I know I won't probably won't be able to get the photo card. That's totally fine with me. I just want to have the physical stuff. Um, but so I have BAP's first sensibility and it's gorgeous. So I bought this and I ended up getting the Young J card with this. And I love Young J, so I was very happy with that. Um, but yeah, it is so pretty. It is so pretty. BAP has had some wonderful packaging. Just looking through all the stuff that they've had, just they get wonderful packaging. I will say that. The latest two releases aren't as wonderful with packaging um like noir's packaging is it is, it is okay it's beautiful content inside but it's, it's just it's just okay um same for the photo cards but it is what it is and then finally i have bap's matrix at the daycan version i got this from my lovely wonderful friend emily um she sold this to me and i'm so happy so it's the daycan version Daehyun baby. I love Daehyun. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm very happy to have this. He's so, um, but yes, I am, like I said, I'm trying to get my stuff, get my BAP in order because they are tops for me. Tops, tops. Um, so yeah, I've recently decided that I'm cutting back spending on some things. So unless I love, love, love an album, then I may not get it unless they are in my top three, which means that there are only three groups that I'm going to be buying everything for. Um, so yeah, that doesn't mean that I won't end up owning some other groups' entire discographies, um, but it just means that they are not necessarily a priority that I need to get, if that makes any sense. So yeah, there's only three groups that are, no matter what, I will get. Um, if you want to take guesses on which three they are, you can go ahead and leave that down below. But that is everything that I ended up purchasing this month. Well, I will say everything that I re ended up receiving this month, um, whether I had purchased it this month or previously or whatever. 
But yeah, if you guys like this video, please make sure that you like it. If you'd like to see more hauls like this, or if you'd like to see it in a different format, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And if there's anything that you would specifically like me to do a um, unboxing where I show you the whole packaging in there, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.